Hello everybody, today we will have a look at Sapphire R9380 Nitro, model name 4G D5. These are the main specs. Core clock, 1010 MHz, memory, 4 GB of GDDR5 with effective frequency of 5800 MHz produced by Elpida, 256-bit memory bus and 1792 stream processors. For display connection it has DVI-I, DVI-D, HDMI 1.4A and DisplayPort 1.2. All of these can be used at the same time to connect up to four monitors. On the top we see two 6-pin power connectors. This card is not big and should fit in most cases. It is 237mm long, 126mm high and occupies just two slots. Also on the top side it has a dual BIOS switch, always nice to have a backup. What I like about these new AMD cards is that you don't need any crossfire bridge to put two of these in your PC. Less wires, nice and tidy. The looks are also important and Sapphire does not disappoint with their new Nitro series black and grey color scheme. At the front we see a well-made black plastic housing. Just look at how thick it is, this is quality right here. At the back there is a nice looking brushed aluminium backplate with Sapphire logo. Cooling system consists of two 100mm fans, a radiator and four copper pipes. This cooler has active cooling for memory chips, MOSFETs and GPU. Always nice to see that kind of attention to detail. In temperature testing core was at 75 degrees and fans were spinning at 50% capacity with 1200 rpm speed. No noise to report here. Increasing fan speed manually I started to hear noise after 55%. This sample overclocked nicely. 1140 MHz core and 6400 MHz memory giving a total of 13.3% increase in performance. Overall I am very pleased with this product. It is built from high quality materials and has a well designed cooling system. I have only one problem to report here. And it is not clear who is responsible for it. Because I've seen the same issue on R9380 cards from other manufacturers as well. I'm talking about the fact that this card doesn't get enough power with out of the box settings which causes it to drop core clock frequency in demanding games. This issue can be fixed very easy by increasing power limit using any overclocking utility. If this doesn't bother you, then I totally recommend this card. In my book, Sapphire is number one AMD partner. Always good quality and price. By the way, I've made a performance comparison video for this GPU versus its main competitor, GTX 960. I'll leave a link in the description below for you to check it out. I hope you enjoyed this video and will subscribe for more if you are here for the first time, but don't leave just yet, there is still a 1080p gaming performance demonstration ahead. I'll see you in the next one, RG out!